What's up, beast people? Tito's here, and welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Omega Ruby Unlock. Now, last episode, we were able to get the fourth badge, so now we can use non-damaging moves, so that is something good, because we can use setup moves and status moves and everything. And today, we're actually gonna jump right into the next gym, because there's literally nothing else to do, and May is just here chilling, waiting for us to talk to her, and just to teleport us to Paddleburg, which is kind of crazy. So, I think it's Paddleburg the name? I think that's the name? Yes, I think it's Paddleburg, but uh, pretty much, I've got my team ready. I saw you guys' comments uh, on last episode, and I mean, the one that came back, because apparently YouTube didn't publish one of the episodes, so Size Matters did not notice, which it's YouTube's fault, I mean, YouTube, really, come on, but... Size Matters left um, some tips as to like what to do with the team and everything, and uh, I really liked it. And uh, of course we have a shady person just making the comment section lit because fire everywhere. <laughs> and um, yeah, pretty much I made the team the best I could, and uh, our team you guys can see on the layout of course. And I'm gonna show you guys real quick what's the team for this gym because after this gym we're gonna be able to have a full team. So, next time, we'll, we won't have to think so much because we'll just go through with a full team. We'll be able to have Grovile again on the team, like, permanently, because it's the starter and everything. It's just that it's good because it's only three Pokémon, so we need to think carefully what we're gonna do. So it's always good to do this. And now we have Golem the Geo Girl here at level 29. Now, the level cap is level 30. And I gotta be honest, I wasn't supposed to level this thing to level 29, but I misclicked. Yes, a misclick happened. So, it was a thing. It's level 29. Hopefully, it won't surpass the level cap. Hopefully. And it has Smackdown, Rock Polish, Bulldoze, and Magnitude. That's good enough. Then we have John Cena. This man is gonna be the one that's gonna put all the work. And now, this thing is not a Machop or a Machop, a Machamp. Uh, because I tweeted it even about it. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you saw it. Is that pretty much Machamp? I feel like it's a little bit broken to go against this gym because it's just normal types, so we should be able to deal with just a Machoke, and I mean, just to give that feel of still a challenge in case something like a slacking or something, you know, because a Machamp is just gonna be insane. We're gonna pull through the gym really easily, so, and he has Ice Punch, the special move that we got from his encounter, which is really good, then Low Sweep Knockoff that he learned, and Vital Throw. Vital Throw is gonna destroy lives now. I'm actually put that move first because I'm always gonna misclick so just just making sure I'm not gonna misclick in the future and then they have Breloom the grass fighting another fighting type now don't say oh double typing because like I explained before only the first typing counts and Machoke is only fighting that's his first typing this one's first typing is grass so it doesn't count as double typing that's how it works now we have your Bloom, and it has Mega Drain, Force Palm, Mac Punch, and Leech Seed, which, again, this thing is gonna put a lot of work. So, again, having a, macho uh, a Machamp would really be fair? Mm, nah, it, it's way too crazy. So, just to give the game a little chance, I did that. And another thing is I saw Size Matters mentioning about the Moo Moo Milks being uh, cheaper and healing more, and here it is. I got 24. That's the best I could do. We still have a lot of money, I could still get like 12 more, but I feel like we don't need yet. We should be good with 24, if it's anything, I'll just come back to this place and buy more. So yeah, let's go, back to Paddleburg. And this episode will be short, this one will be shorter, because like, really, we're just here, that's it. We're here ready for the gym. <laughs> Well, we made it, the Battleburg City Gym. Good luck with taking on the gym later, Titos. I'm cheering for you. Later. Alright. Now, there's one thing, I've been thinking about it. There's a lot of routes and everything, and like, Surf, and the new Malville and everything. I'm not sure, should I do all of that in, ca in camera? Like, do you guys want to see me just exploring all those places? Do you want episode, like, maybe one or two? Because if you guys don't want them to be too long, then it might be like a couple of episodes. Do you want them dedicated to me just exploring those things? I don't know. Let me know. Do you guys want to see all of that? Extra episodes for exploration? Or should I just focus on the lock? Because I think I think that would be more appropriate. I don't know. I mean, but it depends on what you guys want to see too. I don't mind exploring, gotta be honest. I enjoy the game, so yeah. Let's go with John Cena in the front. 
Wait, hopefully the sprint shirt is off. Oh my god. I don't want Golem to evolve. Or not to evolve, to level up. <laughs> Golem evolving? Oh my god, Mega Golem confirmed. Wait. <laughs> okay. John Cena should be able to take on these things. Now, I know some of these Pokemons get fairy type moves, but still, we should be able to do it. And this is just an X accuracy, so. Battle Throw is still gonna hurt. And, yeah. See, if, the, if it was a Machamp, I would have killed. And now, yeah. You would say, oh, you're just making the game tougher for you. Yes, I am. Because I want the game to be a challenge. Because otherwise it would be way too easy. Like, really, we would do this episode in like, I don't know, like, give it more 10 minutes and we would be done. Like, really. I can't do that. And see, this at least, like, I'm not being able to attack and, oh, we received a double slap. Damn. Okay. Oh, this animation is slow. Just slap me all the way, just like Bulma did to Goku on Battle of Gods at the end. Just... That's it. Just all the slaps. Okay. There it is, the Alcati is gone. It's freaking destroyed. And we're good to continue. Let's go. Like, really, this gym should be easy, and I'm not gonna battle all the trainers because, again, levels are a thing. Let me check on the experience share. Okay, it was off. That is good. Okay, let's keep him off. Let's see, defense room. No, because I'm not gonna be able to one-shot. And recovery room. Yes, I might be able to one-shot and you won't recover. So, let's do this one. Let's go. Can I body you real quick? Oh, man. This is about to be good. I can't wait to have a full team, gotta be honest. Like, having just three Pokemons, it's one of the most annoying things. Like, I have the starter, I want to use Grovile, but I haven't because it's just, uh, it's a not option, like, it's better to not use it. But it's so annoying, like, really. Oh, man. I don't know, that's another thing. You guys might notice my mic over here, and it has, like, the little pop filter now. I don't know if there's any difference in quality, you guys should hear me still fine. But, uh, yeah, it's just to protect it, I guess, in case I go too close to it, you know, and talk like this. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna talk super close to the mic. This mic is like super crazy, uh, like boost audio because it's only at like 61% of volume. And I'm not even like super close to it. I still have to keep some distance. Like, I put him this close so he can actually pick up my voice perfectly. But, um,. If I put it at 100%, oh my god, this thing like catches all the noises on my house, like everyone, even my parents talking on the living room, it's crazy. So, that's why I cannot have it at 100, and it would pick up everything, like literally everything, like my fan noise, my PC noise, everything, which you guys do not hear right now, because this mic is amazing, really. It's like the PX21's mic, gotta be honest, like the PX21's, I'll still use them, but it's just for summer, it's way more comfortable for me to do it like this. And, uh, yeah, I just don't feel like wearing this. Like, really, wearing these, it's just way too hot to put them on your head. Like, no, it's just not an option. And a dire hit. Oh, shit. Okay. Zangoose. It's not Young Goose. <laughs> Yo, I can't wait for Cinnamon. Cinnamon's gonna be crazy good. It's Young Goose. That name, though. What? What? Wait! You can't be serious. What the fuck just happened? This thing just critted me. Holy mother. Okay. What the fuck? I didn't think it would kill me. That's a normal type move, but he critted. What? Ah. Uh. Well, I wanted the challenge. This is a challenge, but that was just dumb. That was a crit. That wasn't even a challenge. And that's the gym leader right next. Great stuff. We lose. Oh my god, we lose John Cena right before the gym leader. Are you serious? I need to go switch him for something. And anything is gonna be better than nothing. Oh my god, that is so dumb. I can't believe. 
That man got a crit. I mean, dire hit, I guess it boosts critical rates then. Fuck. I should have seen it coming. Ugh, that is so annoying, actually. God damn it. Why did you have to die? Oh my goodness. Another death. Two deaths right here, and they're both so good. Oh my god, Athena and John Cena, I can't. Now the thing is, what can I bring now? Because... I mean, Pico is the only one that catches up on the level. And... He might be able to confuse or something, so you know what? Better than nothing! <laughs> That's what they said for Mighty Number no. 9. Oh my god, that game was so bad. But yeah. Uh, better than nothing, so let's just go ahead with Pico and do this. Oh my god, I can't believe it. That is crazy. That is actually crazy. Gotta be honest. And now the thing is, I might turn on the experience share for this one, because it's just the gym leader battle. And uh, even if Golem levels up, it's gonna be level 30. So that's not that serious. And wait, did I really just go into the wrong room? Really? God damn it. I want the right room. I don't know what that painting means. Is that like a specific sign or some or something? Like, I don't know. Like a weird Pokeball. Maybe it is a weird Pokeball design. I don't know. Could be. Okay, let's go. You're in the gym leader room. Oh man. I'm gonna fight our dad. Daddy! Okay, no. I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Look at him. He's meditating, focused. Hmm, so you did get four gym badges. Then, as I promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Ooh! It's about to happen. It is about to happen. I like how we actually don't have our uh, shoes here. Like, that's actually a really cool touch they made. That is really cool. Now, let me see. Uh. Do we need to do something on our team? I don't think we need to. And I don't have any items that are good or usable to give in battle, so yeah, we should be good just like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave Berloom, just so I can take out the, the first ones fast. And I'm gonna turn this on. So yeah, we about to do this. Let's go. John Cena! <laughs> John Cena didn't even last an episode. That is so bad. What the hell? And I could have had him a champ. That is insane. Okay. Tito's. Makes me happier that I can really describe. Wait, what? Okay. Being able to have a real battle with my own son like this. But a battle is a battle. I will do everything within my power as a gym leader to win. You better give it your best shot too, Tito's. Oh damn. It just went Super Saiyan. Like, the movement he made, he just needs the aura coming up, and blonde hair, that's it, Super Saiyan. Let's go. Oh shit, wait, he starts with a slacking? Oh, good thing I started with Breloom, though. Okay, Breloom is the... Like, is the one that needs to... Like, give us the win, pretty much. Like, we need to be careful with Breloom. Okay, using Yawn. Oh, that is annoying, actually. I'm gonna have to switch out, because I don't want to be asleep. Let me go into Geo Girl. Let's go. We did some damage with Mac Punch. At least now we know how much Mac Punch can do. I imagine Force Palm will be better. So we can do this, and... What should I do? Magnitude, maybe? We could get lucky. Let's try. We get lucky. We get lucky. Give us a magnitude 10. That would be amazing, though. Oh, a 7. That's not bad. That is not bad. I'll take it. And... Okay, that did about the same damage. Dang. Now, the good thing about the ability and them using Yawn is that you can switch out because the Truant ability is gonna pop up and they're not gonna attack you. There it is. So... This is pretty much all I have to do. Let's try Force Palm now. Oh! Oh my god, that did damage. I need to be careful with that. <gasps> I did not kill. Oh shit. 
Wait, he uses Truant now. But I can actually heal up on this turn. Yeah, I'm gonna take this opportunity to heal up. I heal up now. Then I use Mac Punch to finish him off. Oh wait, no, he heals up too. Never mind. Oh well. So it is True Hunt still gonna pop up? I don't think it will. God damn it, I don't think it will. Oh, it does! Woo! Good. Catch this. Bam. Okay. Now I'm quite scared of Retaliate. Oh my goodness. Oh man. I'm gonna use Lich Seed. Okay, there's the Yawn. Okay. Whatever. Lich Seed will still do damage each turn, so that's good. This is one of the things I hope they keep, like, the field stuff, like Leech Seed, Stealth Rocks and everything, on screen for Sun and Moon. That would be another really cool thing. Because, like, they're pretty much helping with everything, like, they show you the stat changes and everything, so might as well just show you what's going on in the field, right? I don't know. And we're going into GeoGirl. Let's go. Even if he uses Retaliate, GeoGirl should be able to take the hit. So, yeah. There's the Truant, though. Yep. And extra damage. Now, magnitude 7 would kill, I believe. If we get more than 7, it will destroy him. Ooh, faint attack. Oh, boy. Ooh, that did damage, though. Damn. Oh, magnitude 8, you're dead. GG. That's gonna kill you. There it is. This was just one slacking. Oh, my God. The other one is gonna be tough. The other one is gonna be tough. Vigoroth. Okay, Vigoroth, let's go. One up. One up is gonna come in. Now, Vigoroth doesn't have the same stats as Slacking, so he should not be able to take a hit so easily. Hopefully. Right? 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 Let's Mac Punch. Let's start fast. Bam. And yeah, that, that, that does a lot. Oh my god, please don't. Please! Ooh! Okay, 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 you know what? Get out. Get out of here. You too dangerous. Yes. Oh my god. That was, that was crazy. Okay, level 29, that's pretty good though. This is why I wanted the experience share. Now, the last slacking though, oh my god. Now, I don't know if this one is gonna be using Yawn and everything again, but I'm gonna switch into GeoGirl. In case it decides to attack, GeoGirl should be able to take a hit. And I'm gonna heal up uh, Breloom in the meanwhile, and if he uses Yawn, then I'll be able to freely switch next turn because of Truant. Either way, I'll be able to freely switch next turn, so... Let me actually go and... I'm gonna use a Soda Pop, we don't need to use the Momo Milks right away. Soda pops are enough. And faint attack, okay. Yep. It hurts a little bit more than the other one, of course, because it's like two levels above. It's still good. Now... Yeah, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna do it. Let's go into... Berloom. Berloom is gonna do the extra damage now. Free turn. Destruant, yes. And... Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna set up Lich Seed first, actually. Oh! Retaliate! Oh my god. Please? Okay. That move does so much damage. It's crazy. Wait, but he had Truant. How did he attack with... Huh? What just happened? I don't understand. What just happened? I do not understand. Can I stay in and heal up, maybe? Like, I don't understand. Truant popped up, but he attacked? What? I don't remember tr how Truant works exactly then. Okay, he's loafing around. That is good, though. That is good. Okay, that was the free turn. And now he's going to attack. That's how it works. That's actually a little bit scary. I'm gonna force palm. Because, okay. Swagger! Oh my god, if we hit, we kill him. We're at plus two right now. Please don't hit yourself. Please don't hit yourself. Oh my god. Please. Oh, yes! I embodied! Oh yeah, not bad. Let's go. Nice and win. <laughs> not bad. That swagger was his death. Literally. 
Man, and Stealth Rocks. Yes, I will take some Stealth Rocks. Why not? That's better than Rock Polish, I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna be using Rock Polish, so... Stealth Rocks is good. Like, late game, Pokemon League and stuff. Could be good. You never know. And Pico level 29. Okay. We made it. Not even bad. Now we can have a full team! Yes! That is so good. Oh man, John Cena died though, that's so bad, I actually wanted John Cena in my main 6 team, but I guess we're gonna have two grass types because I want a, br a fighting type, so Breloom is gonna stay. But we have Grovile too. Oh man, there it is. Fifth badge. Not bad. We already have five badges, that's crazy. This LP feels like it went super fast all of a sudden. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but this felt like it went super fast. Maybe it's because two badges in two episodes, that's crazy. Huh. Oh. As the gym leader, I can't express how frustrated I am. But as a father, it makes me both happy and a little sad. That's odd. That's too many feelings at the same time. And... Come on, Tito's. Oh, the smile on his face, though. I'll see you on your way. Let's get out of here. Okay. And I believe we're gonna get Surf now, that's another good move, so, hey. Ah, Tito's! Mr. Norman! Haven't seen the two of you in some time, what a coincidence. I just came back to my parents' house to grab something I'd forgotten. You look like you've been working hard, Wally, it's clear even without a battle. But really? You think so? Haha, <laughs> thank you, it's so nice of you to say. Ah, isn't it Tito's? I'm glad to see you here, I'm Wally's father, of course. As you can see, Wally's health has truly improved. All, it's all thanks to you and your father. You two helped Wally catch his first Pokemon that day. It's because of you that he has a partner of his own now. That partner is why he's grown so strong. That's my firm belief, so I thank you. Yes, that's it. Sometimes words aren't enough. It would delight me if you'd take this. And there it is, Surf. Not bad. I remember in the old games this would not happen. They would just randomly have the dude at his house and... Uh, I remember walking around the entire half of the region for like a couple of days playing the game. Fi like just exploring everything and I would not know how to continue the game. Like I would be stuck. I was like, how am I supposed to freaking continue if I don't have surf? And then was was when I decided, okay, let me talk with everyone and see what happens. And I came to this city and I entered the house, talked with the dude and he gave me surf and I was like how am I supposed to know that this dude is about to give me surf? Like, really? That is so dumb. So yeah, it was pretty dumb there. And why did I go away with Wally? And, oh. Ooh, the dad combo here. Boy. I don't know what it is, but... Huh? Seeing my little boy all grown up and going off on his own, as a father it makes me happy and a little sad. <laughs> what a coincidence. I caught myself thinking though the same thing. Oh, is that so? But if only... If only my boy keeps growing strong and healthy like that, I wouldn't ask for anything else. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. Oh, damn. The father's... And where are we going with him? Is there all to keep going beyond Route 118, didn't he? Let me check my area now. Route 118 is the one east of Marvel City, huh? Tito, since we're both here anyway, let's go to Marvel together. I'm definitely planning on going to check on Route 118 like your dad said. So wait, then, do we just... Oh, okay, we just got teleported. Phew! It's actually pretty far, isn't it? All the way here to Marvel. So that must be Route 118 ahead. I wonder what kind of Pokemon I'll meet there. Can't wait to find out. I'll see you later, Tears. I'm going straight to Route 118. Let's definitely have a battle next time we meet. It's a promise, okay? You can't break a promise. Okay, so this game really makes it easy for you to continue compared to the old ones, because really, the fuck? Like, I just got teleported out of nowhere. That is crazy. I just got teleported here. Now, this is where my question before comes in play. Which you, I need you guys there on the comments to let me know is do you want a episode or two, depending on how long they might be. They might be both like around this time, 25 to 30 minutes, I'm trying to lower it like you guys asked. So, 
Do you want a couple of episodes dedicated to exploring? That's the question. Like, I'm just gonna go explore the surf routes and maybe get good items, more encounters, and all that good stuff. Do you guys want to see that? Or should I just continue? Just continue. Like, I don't know. You guys let me know. And uh, what I'm gonna do now, real quick, is that I'm gonna choose my full team this time. And I'm gonna have Grovile, of course. And we kind of need a fire type, but you already have a ground type with Golem. Because I want Golem to stay because he's a rock ground. I want Broom to stay because he's a fighting type. But we already have ground type, so I think what I'm going to do is Slugma maybe? Because we really need a fire type. So I'm really thinking that I might go Slugma, even though he evolves into a rock type, rock fire I believe. But, hey, I mean, I don't know which one is better, because really, they're both level 17, Nomo is a little bit faster, but Slugma overall is a bit bulkier. Yeah, that's 23 on both defenses, 31 special attack, whoa, 32 special attack, actually Nomo looks better, but I never used a Slugma. I actually never used the Slugma on the LP, I think. So yeah, I want to use Slugma, just because it's different. And now, as for a flying type, I don't know if I should go Zubat, Batman, or should I go... Uh, Taylo is like... so used, too. Hmm... Then we have Electric 2, that is good, or Mighty Anna, the Savage! Oh my god, now the indecisions are everywhere. <laughs> well, I gotta be honest, Mighty Anna... Is not really gonna help a lot, and the next gym is actually gonna be flying types. So we need Kirin. Kirin is the dog we're gonna have. And for flying type, we have Peiko right now. Water flying. That's better than nothing. It's a water type and it's flying type. Unless we get like another good water flying, which for me personally, I would think of like a Gyarados, or if we get in the future a Sharpedo, or anything like that, but. I kind of feel like this is the best team we can do for now. So, yeah, this would be the team. I would just bring these six. Oh, it's so good to have a full team now. Now, this is what I wanted. Basil back. Oh, Basil. So much work to get him to this level so he would have, like, the Giga Drain and everything. Okay, we're gonna heal up the team, and this is gonna be it for this episode, so let me sh let me know in the comments down below if you want to see exploration episodes, or if I should just continue. I'm gonna level up the team so everything one is like on pair to like level 30, because that's the cap we were at, so level 30, everyone. And yeah, we're gonna continue the next episode, either exploration or uh, continue the main story, so make sure to comment real quick as soon as you see this episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on the next one. So until then, stay beast. See ya!